Okay, the back of this piece has got some lime scale and some little bits of enamel stuck to it, so I'm just going to clean that off with the Dremel. I've got a fine grinding wheel in here, and obviously I've got safety goggles on. Again, the bits coming off this you do not want mixed up with the enamel, so keep it well away from that. This isn't sharp, so I can just hold that with my fingers and take off these bits of black and other bits and pieces. Hopefully they'll come off quite quickly. If the back is going to show, you obviously need to take more trouble with this than if it's just going to be stuck to something and no one's ever going to see it. So it does depend exactly what you're making. But I don't want these lumps and bumps on here because it's just going to look untidy. So we can clean it off quite quickly. And again, we want to get back to a nice shiny copper because the next process is uh, back enameling or counter enameling, which makes a nice finished piece. So again, we're looking to get a nice, clean, shiny surface, something like that. We can then put a counter enamel onto that. Okay, I'm just going to show you the uh, counter enameling stage. So we've got our nice, cleaned up piece there. So it's exactly the same as doing the front, uh, except for the way we put it in the kiln. So it's the same process. Um, tip a bit of counter enamel into there. Then tap it. And we're looking for the similar, I just see a little bit of dirt. I'm just going to get that out of the way so it doesn't go back in the pot. Um, we just tap that gently and we should get a nice covering and we then lift that up in the same way this time we're going to put it on this little stilt if you put it on the mesh at this stage um, it will stick to the surface of the mesh and um, you won't be able to get it off and if you do get it off you'll have some rather unpleasant marks left in it okay so same process take the devil's tongs Slide it in, just be careful not to budge it and knock it or the enamel powder will fall off. And it's the same timing for the counter enamel. And in it goes for two minutes. Whilst that's doing now, I can just have a bit of a tidy up because keeping clean. Didn't set the clock. <laughs> it's going to set the clock. Two minutes on that. Whilst that's doing, um, we can just tidy that up so that uh, we're ready to go for the next thing. So just shake all that back in there and get the lid on. And we've now got just about one and a half minutes left to wait for that one. Okay, so we're coming up to countdown now. Four, three, two, one, zero. I'll just turn that off. Timing isn't too critical to the second. And you just want to lift this out and you can see that's just about glowing red hot as it comes out. So we just let that rest there and let it cool. Um, and again, once it's, uh, you can just let it air cool for um, uh, two or three minutes, then quench it. To quench it too soon, you can get the enamel flaking off with thermal shock. So you don't want to rush it off. So I'm just going to let that sit there and then carry on in a moment.